So maybe the hardest thing here is the amount of information in the question. You need to just work through that information and make sure you understand what it's saying. Good thing is in your exam next year, this kind of information should be on the, on the preliminary material which comes out at the start of March. So you've got a couple of months to have a good look through it and get familiar with it. Having said that, the numbers involved here, um, they're the kind of numbers that we were working with when we did the personal finance uh, deductions questions in our practice questions. So you can see my, my working here. I've laid it out just as I laid out with the examples that I did in class. The first, uh, when it comes to tax, first 8,105 is tax free. From there up to 20% basic rate. Then when you earn over that, 40% higher rate. What's uh, her annual income? Well, recognize that it tells you a monthly income. So we need to find her annual income. And so here's the calculations, 20% of the first amount 40% of the second amount, find your total tax paid. Last bit, national insurance contributions. So the key thing to spot here is that um, he's contracted out for national insurance. It tells you on the information here for national insurance, it's only 9.4% if you're contracted out. So that's just something you need to pick up on. And so when he starts paying his NI, that's the percentage.